coming into your YouTube airwaves, it's Vaughn, the Stat Man, and welcome to the Stat Room. Woo! Good morning out there, and welcome to the Stat Room. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so before I get into this slate, guys, let me introduce myself, because I am Vaughn the Stat Man. You can follow me on Twitter, at Vaughn the Stat Man, and guys, check out the website, VaughnTheStatMan.com. And everything I just said will be in the comment section of this video. And guys, hit that like button before I get before I get in into this video. And also, subscribe to me if you're watching me for the first time. If you like my content, and then hit that little bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, guys. So let me give a quick breakdown of the slate, guys. Minnesota at Toronto. It could be a blowout, but I expect it to stay a little closer because with Townsend. Toronto's weak at the center position and Towns is one of the best in the league. I think he's going to dominate, but um, Toronto has a lot of scores, so this game could be a blowout. San Antonio at Charlotte has a game. This is a game where you could stack about six to seven players out of this game. I see at least at least four guys in this in this slate that can get you 40 plus. New Orleans at Detroit. Since Detroit traded Rose, they've actually been playing a little better. And New Orleans are starting to buy into the defense. New Orleans is a stack. You can you can stack Williamson. He's a pretty good player in this matchup. You also can look at Lonzo Ball. And Detroit's point guard has been on fire. So he's also someone to consider. Portland at Dallas is a game that I love. This is a team, a game of two teams who are underachieving. Dallas has lost so many games. They, they won their last game, but before that they lost so many games in a row but Doncic is a matchup nightmare so is Lillard um, Lillard is gonna go off today I like Doncic as well Milwaukee at OKC OKC is the scrappiest team in the entire NBA next to Memphis them two are the two scrappiest teams OKC whenever Shea Gilders Alexander goes down I love to, to grab me one or two OKC guys because you get these guys for 4,000, 5,000, 5,500 max and they can get you 35, 40 fantasy points. So that's great value. Milwaukee, the Greek freak, is going to go bananas today. Next, Orlando at Phoenix. I love Orlando's Vucevic. He put up a 60 burger. He scored 42 actual points. Um, in this matchup against DeAndre Aiding, I think he's going to dominate Aiding. Aiden will hold his own, will get you about 30 fantasy points maybe 35 I don't see Vucevic getting 62 fantasy points but I do see him getting 50 fantasy points Memphis at Sacramento Memphis leads the NBA in turnovers so you want to always grab one person from Memphis because almost everybody on the team will get you a steal or two and they have been on fire as of late and Sacramento might be without their starting point guard if that's the case if Fox is out I love a Memphis stack Cleveland at the Clippers is a game I will not touch. It's going to be a blowout in my opinion. But it is the NBA, so, you know, it's not like NFL. You know, if Cleveland's shot is on, the game will be close. But the Clippers' defense, they, they just lock teams down. And they do not play down to their competition. So, I don't really like this matchup. So, I'm going to fade this game. The Los Angeles Lakers at Denver. Jokic dominates any matchup except the Lakers. I don't know what it is. The Lakers just seem to have his number. He doesn't put up more than maybe 40 fantasy points. But for his number, that's a that's a definite fade. For me, um, there's only one person from Denver that I would consider in this matchup. Now, Doncic is in position, I would say to get about 45 to 50. But on any any given night, he can give you, give you 60. And since... Portland doesn't play defense. Doncic might get you a 55-point game. But I'm giving you Damian Lillard, guys. I think Lillard is going to smash this lead. I think he's going to go crazy today. I see him putting up about 50. But I, but hit, but today his floor would be about 45. His ceiling could be 65 today, guys. Next, at the shooting guard position, you got Paul George out, McCollum out, Van Vliet's next in play. Shea Gildress Alexander is out, guys. So that means there's a lot of, it's a lot of value on OKC side of the game. Booker has been absolutely on fire ever since that Chris Paul came there because I didn't think Booker needed to have the ball in his hands. He's a guy that when you cross half court, you give it to him and let him do his thing, but you can save his legs by not 
letting him bring the ball up the court. And he has been balling. Um, DeRozan's an excellent play. Terry Rozier is who I'm going to give you. He's on a hot streak, guys. And he is playing extremely well beside ball. And I see in San Antonio it's going to be a, a, a high-scoring game. I think Rozier gives you another 35, I would say 35 to 40 point performance tonight. At the power forward position, guys, I'm going to give you guys, remember I told you guys that I I like um, Memphis. I'm giving you Anderson. Anderson has been balling, guys. And at 5,900, I believe he gets you about 33 fantasy points today. So Anderson is who I like. Now last, but not least, the Boomstick play of the night is none other than Williamson. If you look at Williamson, guys, his off games are 37, 38, but when he's on, he's giving you 40, 40, 40, 40. He's just a solid. He's the one who I just like to get you 42, 43. He only put up one 50-point game, but I can see a 42 to 43-point performance today. Detroit doesn't have anyone that can stay in front of him. Blake Griffin is not going to be able to stay in front of him. Blake Griffin doesn't have his lift anymore. So if they put Blake Griffin on Williamson, he will put up a 50 spot tonight. All right, guys. So that's it, guys. If you made it this far, I would appreciate it if you hit that like button, guys, and also subscribe. And guys, don't forget to win-win. That means give people what they want so you can get what you want. And guys, don't forget to think and ink. That means write it down so that way it can come true. Good hunting on all your DFS contests. Love you.